So I think it's that time. We've talked about two person survival companion type kits. You know, I, I showed you the Uncharted Supply Company's two person companion kit. I showed you the Rhino Ready, which I would not recommend. Two person survival kit. Let's talk about the kit that you can buy that's supposed to be able to take care of four people. This is the Base Camp by Uncharted Supply Company, a four person survival kit. They say it's bear proof, weather proof. When you get the actual box itself, at the very top of the box, you get this Yeti loadout go box material. I think if you just buy, you can buy this Yeti box on Yeti's website. So I think if you buy this, you just get you know the things that they say are great about the box their collaboration with uncharted supply uh takes the box to another level i guess so first of all uncharted supply now has their logo on the front of the box and i mean does it does it have to be everywhere do we always have to have the logo it says don't die everything four people need to survive for 72 hours so it does have different mechanisms on the outside so you can slap some some locks on it. I mean, this thing is pretty sturdy. I will give them that. It's full, completely full. So the bottom of the box has these little stoppers here that keeps it from slipping and sliding around. So, you know, this will be the kind of box I will put on top of my Diamondback. If you haven't seen a review for my Diamondback cover, I love that thing. I will put this on my Diamondback. I could strap it down. They do have the ability on the sides here on the actual handles which allows for you to put straps in. So this little sticker here is saying use force to close, meaning when you go to close this box, make sure you're clamping down pretty strong. Let's look at this box. So Yeti branded all over again. If that's important to you, let everybody and their mom know who is the go-to for your stuff. Okay, great. Then you got Yeti on the outside. So the box itself is, I won't lie, it does feel pretty pretty bear proof. I don't know if that's truly been tested. Let's close it back up and give you a top down view. Definitely have to use force to close it. Two hands just to get this thing closed. You look here, it's completely weatherproof. I will give them that. These gaskets, these seals feel weatherproof. The box itself can be stacked. So they're stackable design. You can put multiple on top of each other. You can, you know, leave this in a closet. And they say it's nearly indestructible. Very, very heavy duty latches here on the front to actually engage the latches themselves. Takes a little bit of maneuvering, which is a good thing. Let's just start here at the top. We're gonna lay it flat on its back. Really, really heavy duty zippers. You can see inside of there, this is the warmth section that I just opened up. So this is a four person sack. So I would assume that everything is in, is in the numbers of fours. So you got your, your knit hat hand warmers you guys know how i feel about hand warmers and then this kit has two survival kits so their other companion kit for two people has a, a one survival kit they give you two for this one i'm not even going to open up the hand warmers it's pretty self-explanatory if i were using hand warmers i would say i would probably use them in a manner to keep my kidneys warm so that as blood circulates through my kidneys i'd be more hopeful that i'll feel warm that way all right well they are the same as in the exact same hat, but you do get different colors. Two person companion kit, you only get these black hats here. Once again, branded again with the uncharted supply on all the hats, but still seems to be pretty nice quality. And you have some emergency blankets. So the emergency blankets are really small in nature. I didn't have too big of an issue with those in the last kit. All right, so that is the warmth section and the shelter section. I'm glad that if you're buying these type of kits, and you don't want to put these kits together yourself. At least there's a picture of what the end result of the tent should look like. That's pretty sweet. This is really nice webbing up here. It is removable. It's Velcroed in here, but you could remove this if you wanted to and just take this section out of the box itself. Over here, I move on to the vision section. Got the chem lights. You can tie these to, I'm assuming somewhere in here is some paracord antibacterial wipes okay so i had an issue with get home bags having antibacterial wipes because if you're trying to get home then you don't really have too much time for worrying about it how clean you are but in the case of surviving a few days with this kit having some wipes are pretty nice it all also has some um, spf 50 sunscreen that's really good uh, we work our way into the larger portion of the the box itself here at the top we're back at the first aid so 
So it's really nice, big, bulky feeling first aid kit. I, I kind of like the way it feels. I still have the same complaint with the first aid kit that it's not a quick tear away, but I mean, it's well labeled. You know, you got gloves, different section. It's telling you where you can find different things. You have saline in the middle. It has more emergency blankets. It's telling you you have bandages and closures and just, I like the way this is labeled. Once again, I do wish that it had that rip away Velcro so that if this is on the side of a bag, that this entire thing will rip away. Once again, we got a flashlight that does not break my rule when it comes to what you use it to power it. This uses triple A batteries. The batteries are located right underneath here. So you can stick the batteries inside the flashlight. Apparently you can register this go box itself. They also give you some stickers. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but. And this tray is fully removable. So you take this tray out. Now you're back and you have more warmth items underneath it underneath here. We have the gloves that I was just a big fan of in the two person companion kit. Really, really nice. The only complaint I would have about the gloves is it's just branded like uncharted supply. So you have the four pairs of gloves. You also get a good chunk of paracord, 550 cord to give you a hundred feet of that. We're back to this ready tape, I guess is their version of duct tape. It's giving you uses for it and how to store it. And it's pretty thin, but it, good chunk of it. It's duct tape. It is five yards of duct tape and it is almost two inches in width. It's that shovel that's in the two person companion kit. You get the same shovel here again. Maybe you're getting ready for a fire. Maybe you're trying to get your vehicle out of a pinch. You can throw some dirt in front of your vehicle. Same emergency radio we found in the two person companion kit. It is working. It's fully charged. So on here you can change the settings to USB. If you want to charge something, it's just an emergency radio. It is solar powered on the side. It does not use AA batteries for a backup, but it does seem to be, eh, I could imagine this thing will work pretty good. Here on the side, if you wanted to charge it, it's right here with the mini USB, and you can also charge other devices if you plug those up with a USB-A cable. It has a flashlight on this side. We're down to this uh, multi-tool. I really like this multi-tool when I saw it in the companion pack. I will say I don't like the fact that it's their logo on the side again. It's not on the realm of like a Leatherman or a Gerber, but if you don't have a multi-tool, then you're in there. So red on the side has the black, so it feels really nice in the hand. The pouch itself could be attached to a belt, or if you're trying to attach it to a bag, that would be an issue because you would have to try to figure out how you're going to loop this through a bag. You got the emergency matches. It's probably becoming a standard to have that striker on the outside. So this knife, I really enjoyed on the two person kit. So I will say the knife itself has, it's, it's a very, very nice knife. It comes out pretty sharp right out the box. It has this glass breaker here. So once it's back in its sheath, you can use this to break through glass, probably break through some plexiglass or whatever. The back of it, I do remember the back of the sheath itself having fire starting ability and some magnesium. Same complaint, they just brand everything. These are, I don't know if you can tell, these are little dogs. So they're, they're all about their branding. We move on to the other side of the box. This is, I guess this would have been better if it was easily low, more easily located of what you can actually find in the box. So we've already kind of gone through a little bit of first aid and it also has some advice for different situations you might get yourself in, how to administer some first aid, food and water, and other useful tip, tips about bug protection. And the box itself has a nice divider. So we have these air filtration masks, which I quite enjoyed last time I saw them. You can insert uh, charcoal inserts on the inside, which is a good thing because you can buy these charcoal inserts on Amazon. This is just something I already own and you can replace these as you need to. And they're probably not going to fit very well on a kid. Four of those. You also get four of these goggles. So I was pretty impressed by these goggles last time I saw them. I will say that this feels pretty sturdy. It's gonna actually create a seal. How much uncharted supply? We know you guys made this package, but you get four of those goggles. This water bottle is pretty nice. Once again, they're branding. So even if you wanted to pretend like this is something you bought elsewhere, you wouldn't be able to do that. It gives you instructions on staying cool when water is limited. I wish they gave you two of these. This is a four person kit. The companion kit gave you one. 
I would imagine they would give you two and two people could share this or split it up or something. So they give you two 64 ounce squeeze pouches compatible with water filtration kits. And I'm assuming they give you the water filtration kits. Yep. So we have the water filter. There better be two in here. They gave you two squeeze pouches, right? Okay. They gave you one water filtration kit. See, the thing about these water filtration kits is that you can drink directly from them. So if you have that, these squeeze pouches, you've gathered water in this squeeze pouch, right? And you wanna hook this squeeze pouch to the water filtration kit and the filter within this kit will clean the water, filter the water as you drink it. But if you only have one to share between four people, that kind of sucks. I would imagine they would give you two so that, you know, between the four of you, you now have three pouches. So almost everyone will have their own pouch and you can just kind of share the filtration. I don't know. I, I kind of do wish they would have gave you one more of those. These emergency ration, food ration, brick things. So the Dial Trex, the same company I use for my emergency water. Eat one bar every six hours per person. Eat in small pieces. So you know, do not drink water during the first 24 hours unless sick, injured, or in desert conditions. After first 24 hours, drink no more, no more than half a liter of water or 16 ounces per day. Okay, I think I would rather put MREs in here than eat these bars. These bars do taste good. They're just, they limit you on your water intake. Let's wrap this thing up and give you my final thoughts. So, the Uncharted Supply Base Cam. Oh wait, this is $700. I just don't know if this is $700 that I would spend. The box is really nice. I think that the price is so high because of the Yeti box. If you buy this Yeti box separately, I mean, it's probably like $250, $300 just to get this box itself. I don't think the items, items inside are $400 worth of items. I think you can probably put together something cheaper. As a matter of fact, I know I could put something together cheaper. This family of four back here, I know <laughs> cost me nowhere near $700 and it's reliable, it gets the job done. And so my bag that I put together itself, besides the MREs and maybe maybe some of the ponchos and stuff. I just can't recommend this without giving you more bang for your buck. It's just not enough in here to justify paying 700 American dollars. I just feel like even if I bought this box on Yeti's website and put the items in it that I wanted, I still feel like I can come in below the $700 mark. That's even buying maybe like a hundred $150 box of MREs, then buying all the gear. My family for a bug out bag has emergency candles. It has ponchos, it has more flashlights. Each individual person gets a flashlight. It has more food. I guess you can nibble on these little bars in here and you would be pretty good. But unless you just absolutely don't want to put your own bag together for you got a bunch of extra money laying around, then go pick this up. But if you don't mind doing the research, going through, systematically getting the items yourself, this is just not worth it. This may be a good item to have to supplement camping. I'm not going to rely on this for a survival item, I guess. The only thing that makes this desirable is its size. My family of four bag is pretty big and it stays here in my garage. This in theory could fit in the back of my truck, maybe even behind a seat and be ready for survival situations, but not many survival situations. That might be the only thing that makes it tempting to you and it's lockable. My bag's not lockable. You be the judge. Leave the comments below. What do you think? Would you buy this? Would you pick one up? Could you do better just putting together something yourself? Leave a comment below. Hit that like button. Let YouTube know that others need to check this out. Share with others. If you know some folks that got some money to burn, share this video with them. I'm very confident they'll go pick this up. But in the meantime, we'll speak soon.